Hey Dons, welcome back to CCTV. I hope you all had a great week. As many of you know, Catholic education is a very important aspect of our lives here at Cathedral. USD has an awesome program called the Torero Promise for Catholic school students in San Diego. Let's send it on over to Alexis to learn more. Hi Dons, I'm Alexis Friedman and I'm about to speak with Mr. Calkins and Ms. Laporte to learn a little bit more about the University of San Diego's Torero Promise. How did USD's Torero Promise come about? Uh, well, uh, the University of San Diego is, you know, what I would consider the Catholic University of San Diego. It was actually founded by the Diocese of San Diego and so there's a good relationship that exists between the university and the diocese. Uh, I know the director of schools uh, has been collaborating with the University of San Diego to uh, provide an opportunity for students to continue their Catholic education. Uh, the Diocese of San Diego, in partnership with the University of San Diego, came up with the Torero Promise. Essentially, if a student has a 3.7 GPA and has taken a and has taken a um, a rigorous college preparatory curriculum, uh, they have guaranteed admission to the University of San Diego if they fill out an application in their senior year. So when you go to USD or a similar school like that, immediately find campus ministry. Find a way that you can go on retreats, receive the sacraments, and be closer to Christ. For any juniors who meet these requirements and are interested in learning more, be sure to ask your college counselor about this amazing opportunity. Thanks, Alexis. Freshmen, elections are today. Make sure you check your emails and vote for your newest ASB candidates. There's a liturgy next Wednesday, so don't forget your dress up attire. Next week, ASB will be hosting our annual club week with all the clubs. Now, here's Luis to learn some more. Hey Dons, my name is Luis, and today we're here with Nicole Barno, the commissioner of clubs. So, Nicole, what are some new clubs this year? So some new clubs that we have this year is we have KCA Club, we have John Entrepreneurship, we have some more fun clubs like Harry Potter Club, and things like that. So Nicole, what are some cool clubs this year and how many clubs are there? So there are 53 clubs and some clubs that I think are pretty cool is I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan, so Harry Potter Club is going to be pretty nice. There's also like Analytical Film Club where they really look into like indie films. There's of course Red Cross, which has been here for a while and they do the blood drives and stuff, which is always good to have. And there's the new KCA Club, which is led by Bryce Newman. So there's a bunch of really cool clubs that everyone can join this year. So Nicole, as the Commissioner of Clubs, what is your job? So my job is me and my partner, Garrett Collins, is we look through the club application process and we choose which clubs would be beneficial for a cathedral. And as well as that, we plan different events such as uh, the Spring Carnival, we do like Christmas Fair, we do Cultural Awareness Week, and actually starting Monday, we're gonna have Club Week. So everyone make sure to go down and to check out which clubs that Cathedral is offering this year. Thank you, Nicole. Now back to you in the anchor room. Thanks, Luis. The first senior Kairos retreat will be leaving next week. So let's remember to keep all of them in our prayers. Also, there's a great update, so be sure to check your Schoology. Now here's Mia for our social media update of the week. Hey Dons, thanks for sending in your selfies last week. We loved them all. Here, let me show you a few of my favorites. Love those. Thanks again for sending them in. As you may or may not know, this week is freshman elections. In honor of our freshmen, our question of the week is, what do you wish you could tell your freshman self? Here's what you guys said. Uh, I wish I could tell my freshman self to get a hair straightener. Not to stand in the knoll during football games. Don't give in to peer pressure. Don't wear cargo shorts. Stop straightening your hair every week because no one cares. Uh, try really hard and get good grades. Uh, your freshman year grades actually matter when you're applying to colleges. I would tell my freshman self to not be afraid to make new friends and that people are welcoming if you just introduce yourself. Um, not to procrastinate. Stay involved with student activities. Don't download games on your iPad. I think be nicer to people. Start the year off strong. I would tell my self as a freshman, pick up my trash. If you haven't already, make sure to follow us on all our social media to keep up with all things CCTV. Now sending it off to Marcella with sports. Good morning, 
Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. Your Dons have had a great week, so let's get right into the scores. Your girls' field hockey team beat San Marcos High School 2-0 and are currently 3-0 in their season. Great job, girls! The girls' tennis team lost a tough match to the Torrey Pines Falcons on Monday, but they'll be sure to come back and win the next one. The girls' golf team also won their game, beating La Jolla High School 197-254, which is awesome! Also, the boys' water polo team won four out of their five games in their tournament last weekend, so good job, guys! Now on to Pascal, who found out more about the new sand volleyball courts. Hi, Dons. I'm Pascal Curry, standing here in the future site of the sand volleyball court. Cathedral Catholic High School is proud to announce that a donor has come forward who is willing to help build a sand volleyball court here on campus. Their very generous offer will match every dollar up to $75,000 to make sand courts a reality on campus. Please follow the link to help with this project. Thank you in advance for your support and roll Dons. Thanks, Pascal. Finally, here's our football update. Last Friday, the Dons football team beat Westview 48-6 in a thrilling game. The touchdowns were scored by Kai Brown, Sean Poma, Colin Myers, Josh Lewis, and Zion Sorani. Nikita Antoneru scored an awesome two-point conversion, and kicker Dean Janikowski did a great job kicking our PATs. Overall, great job, boys! The next game is tonight at 5.30 at Helix High School. The theme is neon and tie-dye, so don't forget to look too bright. Get it? Because <laughs> it's neon and it's Right. Anyways, have a great Friday, Dons. Enjoy the weekend and get some well-deserved rest. Back to you, Kiki. Thanks, Marcella. Well, that's a wrap, Dons. CCTV, signing off.